Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use spatial materials in Godot 4. To get started, head over to any mesh you want to apply a material to, head over to the surface material override option. You may have more than one material here, however for this tutorial I only have one. We can select empty and press new standard material 3D. Let's go ahead and drag it out to see it better. To start, let's change the color of the material. So albedo, and then color. Here you can select any color you would like, so let's do blue for right now. Like a lighter blue. To make the material reflective, we need to head over to the metallic drop down and the roughness drop down. We should lower the roughness to get more reflective. As you can see, it will show up on here. And to make it more shiny, we raise the specular. This will be how reflective it is. To give it a metally or metallic look, we drag up metallic. As you can see, it kind of looks like Chrome right now. In order to see the effect better, you'll need to have SSR enabled in your world environment. I have a world environment tutorial linked in the description down below. If we want to apply a texture to our material, we can reset the color and texture, drag over your image, and you'll see that we have our texture show up. And if we modify our color afterwards, you'll see that it actually overlays and alters the texture. And obviously all the other settings will still work. You may also notice that we have options for textures in more than just our albedo. I made a simple normal map for my logo, we can drag this into our roughness texture and wherever that normal map is, depending on its height, it will be more rough than the rest of the material. Now I've gone ahead and also put back the texture for the albedo and you can see where the normal map is, it is less reflective than the actual cube. So it gives this cool sticker like effect. One example of this being used in games are on things like puddles where you need the street to be both slightly wet and also slightly rough. To add transparency to your material, head over to transparency, select either alpha or depth prepass. I've had more luck with depth prepass, so we're gonna go with that. Now in your albedo, select the color. In the alpha option, you can scale this down or up to make it either more or less transparent. And one thing to watch out for is if your texture is a PNG, behind it is zero alpha and the front is 100% alpha. So if I were to drag this into my texture, you'll see that where it's not, it is completely transparent and where we have the material, it is opaque. Now on some objects, such as this floor here, you'll see that we can see it just fine above here. However, if we go below it, it will not render. To fix this, head over to your transparency tab. In call mode, select either front to flip it or disabled to have it on both sides. To make an object have a glow effect, we can head over to the emission tab, enable it, in emission, we can select the color we would like for the emissive material, and then we can increase the energy multiplier. So let's do 10, and you'll see we get a very glowing material. Obviously, there's a lot more that we could do with the spatial material node. However, I hope this offers a good starting point for you to branch off of. As always, I will be leaving a link to the documentation for this node in the description down below, and if needed, I will make a part two. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.